You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. Did Kanye West just expose Beyonce and Jay-Z for human sacrifices? The time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. So what's the crazy part, really? What's the crazy part, really? They can't scare you, they can't control you, they can't, they, they, they try to suppress you. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here, my mama was sacrificed. Kanye is not going to stop talking just because he gets blacklisted by every major company and loses half of his money. In fact, it seems Kanye is more determined than ever to expose his former friends Jay-Z and Beyonce, as well as anyone involved in Hollywood's dark side. In a new viral interview, Kanye spilled some major tea about Jay-Z and Beyonce's supposed involvement in the Hollywood sacrifices. And while many fans are praising Kanye for dropping truth bombs on the Illuminati, the Beehive is slamming him for using Beyonce's name for clout. Fans are divided over the issue, with some applauding Kanye for speaking out against what he perceives as inequity, while others are condemning him for bringing Beyonce's name into it in an effort to bolster his own fame. So what exactly did Kanye reveal about Beyonce's and Hollywood's sacrifices? Kanye revealed that Beyonce and other Hollywood stars were sacrificing their own beliefs and values to please the Illuminati. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Not, not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. Not you. You know what I'm saying? And just for Minister Farrakhan, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm taking no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone. And let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's been a little over a month since Kanye lost his billionaire status overnight following a widespread campaign by multiple individuals and companies to cancel Kanye over his comments about the Jewish people in Hollywood. The effects of this have been far-reaching, not only damaging Kanye's finances but also casting a light on the unjustified power those in Hollywood have over individuals' reputations. In one day, Kanye lost $2 billion after Adidas and other companies cut ties with him. Despite all of this, Kanye hasn't been deterred from speaking his mind. In an Instagram post captioned Love Speech and addressed to Ari Emanuel, the CEO of entertainment agency Endeavor and one of the most influential people in Hollywood, Kanye wrote, I lost $2 billion in one day and I'm still alive. This is Love Speech. I still love you. God still loves you. The money is not who I am. The people is who I am. Even after losing all the lucrative business deals and being almost completely deplatformed, Kanye is still not backing down, naming everyone involved in Hollywood's dark side. Now it's Beyonce and Jay-Z's turn to be exposed. I'm often asked, what's your secret to success? The shorter answer, put in that work. B and J are believed to be engaging in some form of ritual sacrifice. But before we dive into what Kanye said, let's recap some context. First of all, we can probably all agree that Hollywood is a dark place and although many conspiracy theories about celebrities are based on nothing more than unfounded lies, there is no denying that the entertainment industry has a scary side that has destroyed many lives. And as Dave Chappelle pointed out, the moment a famous person decides to speak up about the dark side of Hollywood, they get labeled crazy. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Also, the idea that celebs should always sell their souls for fame and fortune dates back to the beginning of Hollywood. Yes, there are some absurd conspiracy theories about the entertainment industry, but keep in mind that many alleged conspiracies were proven to be true. The CIA ordered the creation of a secret program intended to find ways of mind control. They funded an army of psychiatric institutions across the United States and Canada to perform experiments on unsuspecting patients using psychedelic drugs, sensory deprivation, electroshock treatment, and more. The program was known by its codename, 
As you know Beyonce and Jay-Z are two of the most famous and powerful people in the industry, so their names are frequently mentioned in connection with the dark side of the entertainment industry and the alleged sacrifices that take place in Hollywood. Kimberly Thompson, Beyonce's former drummer, once went so far as to accuse the singer of witchcraft. Thompson said she had to move around a lot in order to start over after speaking out against Queen Bee. Kimberly even requested a restraining order against Beyonce, claiming that the singer launched a campaign against her that included extreme witchcraft, dark magic, and disturbing magic spells. Um, other per people I've worked with um, that have been on a plateau have been paid to fire me. Um, I found this out, um, and then it just kept happening. <laughs> so it was like, it, uh, you invest all this time and everything in it, and then, you know, uh, she comes and, and pays people to fire me and insult me, and... Um, it's just been disastrous. Kimberly also claimed that everyone in the upper echelon of the music industry knows about Beyonce's dark rituals, and she said it took her years to be able to escape Beyonce's influence. Like it's, it's, it's interesting that, you know, the public doesn't know all these things, but the people that are associated in the higher powers, uh, to say, more or less do, you know, and uh, I've just been bullied um, this entire time. This has been going on for a very long time. And so it's taken uh, God's strength, actually, to really make me get up and go stand up for myself. And doing that, starting with the re uh, restraining order, uh, I, I don't want anything to do with this person, like, at all. I've said that for a very long time. Now, when this news first surfaced, the majority of Beyonce's fans labeled Kimberly as crazy and said she was just resentful of being fired. People also claimed that Kimberly's claims must contain at least some truth because she never offered her story to the media or attempted to make money off of it. Furthermore, Kimberly is not the first person to claim that Beyonce sold her soul for fame and power. Ex-Destiny's child member, Farrah Franklin also talked about this in her interview with Vlad TV. I said it it wasn't about Destiny's Child or the money, it was about my happiness, and if I'm not happy, I'm not staying anywhere. But keep in mind that Farah had to sign a confidential agreement when she left Destiny's Child, so she can't even divulge everything she knows about Beyonce. But if there's one celeb who any contracts and NDAs cannot stop, it's Kanye West. You already know that Kanye isn't afraid to use names, and in his most recent interview with the Daily Stardust, he spoke candidly about topics that most celebrities avoid, like Beyonce's participation in Hollywood sacrifices. When questioned about the massive boycott campaign being mounted against him, Kanye responded that that he was not at all surprised because celebrities who challenge the status quo often face similar treatment. Kanye claimed his own mother Donda was sacrificed, and he went on to mention several other celebrities whose loved ones lost their lives under suspicious circumstances. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Michael too. Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right, had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God loved me. Kanye also said that, unlike many other rappers, he couldn't be blackmailed because he never killed anyone, and that's why gets to speak his truth. None of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But Kanye didn't stop there. He even talked about how the Hollywood Illuminati are controlled and he name-dropped several A-listers, including Beyonce and Jay-Z. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Not, not you, man. But they can't control me. You no, see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. 